Anita. How are you? I'm good. Can you shortly introduce yourself? Yes, my name is uh, Caterina Fonseca. I work for the IRC International Water Sanitation Center and I'm based in the Netherlands. And can you say maybe a little bit more about your background? Um, I'm an economist. I started working in the water sector uh, 10 years ago. And um, yeah, I'm just very, from the beginning, I was always very, very surprised of how much few data there was about the cost of water and sanitation of providing uh, services. So what inspired you basically to, you know, do this work? Well, I, I did a lot of work about financing mechanisms, about the gaps, financing gaps. And, but to do a financing gap, you need to know where you are before knowing where you want to be. And uh, what inspired me is actually more a, a problem, a, a difficult problem to solve, which is how can you provide sustainable services? And for that, you need to know how much it costs. That's, that's the basic, and that's been one of the, the key motivations over the last 10 years. That's really excellent. So can you also maybe now talk a little bit about the Wash Cost project that you're involved with? Yes, so Wash Cost came, the idea came from, from this, this big problem, this, this vacuum, and um, to try and by working out some of the real costs of providing services and showing how they can be useful to improve value for money, accountability, transparency mechanisms, cost effectiveness, by showing some of that data and how it can be used, that actually the decisions in the sector start being more cost-based, mm -hmm. because at the moment they're not. So what are the main challenges actually in that regard that you're facing right now? Well, that it, that's, it's, it's exactly, it's, it's, it's the change of behavior and the mindset. At the moment, there's a huge amount of money going for infrastructure construction, and, and that infrastructure stops working after one or two years. And we could have much more um, yeah, balanced expenditures if we have, for instance, maintenance funds. So you don't need to every year, every two years, to rebuild new infrastructure. You could save a lot of money, be more cost effective with the few capital which is available. Mm -hmm. So this is one of the main challenges is we're starting to get the data, we're starting to have the narrative, mm -hmm. but will the mindset change? So how, in your opinion, can people be more aware and uh, maybe even change their mentalities? They, they become immediate, once in the wash cost countries and also uh, at international level, the wash cost countries is Burkina Faso, Ghana, Mozambique and Andhra Pradesh in India, mm -hmm. and also at global level, once you show the data, everyone wants more. There's more expectations, oh, I want more data, I want more accuracy in the data, etc. So that's, or, that's already starting, that the motivation is after you've seen that it's possible to collect it, that it's possible uh, to have disaggregated costs per technology, per service level, then it motivates people to do their jobs better, I think, to be able to make better decisions. Wow. But, yeah, we will see. Well, <laughs> thank works. you so much for this interview, and good luck, of course. Mm -hmm. Thank you, thank you.